Hey everybody, welcome to the SoCal Dram Tram. I'm Matt. I'm Caesar. And today we got a. You hear that? Yeah. What the heck is that? Wow! Oh my god, guys, Santa came to the bar. Santa Claus! This is nuts, guys. Well, hey, uh, since we're here, why don't we go ahead and review some whiskey? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome to the SoCal Dram Tram. I'm Matt. I'm Caesar. And today on a very special Christmas episode, we got a good bottle over here from Caesar's Bar. This is the Ardbeg Oogadale. This is a non-age statement Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. This is non-chill filtered and it's presented at 54.2%. Uh, Caesar, this is a bottle of yours. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Sure. Uh... I've been getting a little bit into the, the smoky type of whiskeys and this Ardbeg brand I've been wanting to try for a long time and here in our local market we don't have too much for them but this is one of the, the types that we carry of this brand and you know what I really like it a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to have a sip of this when we were out one night. I, uh, there's a local bar here called McAllen Public House, and uh, it's a really cool spot, especially if you like drinking whiskey. It's been voted Orange County's Whiskey Bar, all that good stuff. Um, and they do flights, and it's a cheap way to get, you know, multiple samplings of whiskeys that you might enjoy. Um, and so I got the Isla flight, and this was one of them on there. And it's been a minute since I had it, but uh, I remember really enjoying this, so I'm super looking forward to this. Uh, Caesar, what coin are you using today? Today I'm using my whiskey dick and my scotch on the bayou as a coaster coin. Fantastic. And as far as my coin goes, I'm going to be using my Evangelist coin from uh, Aquavite himself. Uh, shout out to Aquavite. You know we love you. And uh, yeah, I, I got to say this one's kind of special to me because this one was sent to me fairly recently by him. This is uh, part of his patron program. I am a patron. And uh, this got me really excited when I received it. And seeing that it says Evangelist, I, I can't help but think warm feelings, especially on this Christmas time. And I haven't had any whiskey yet uh, because without uh, Aquavite, Vitae and kind of his message of whiskey and whiskey until it's shared and evangelizing to your friends. I don't know if Caesar and I would actually be doing this today. So shout out to Aqua Vitae. Shout out to uh, Scotch and the Value and the Whiskey Dick. We love you guys. You guys are all fantastic. You taking notes of this yet? Yeah, folks, I need to tell you something real quick. Not even putting my nose directly over it as I'm swishing it around in this glass, the smell of thick smoke is going through the air so densely packed that you could smell it from sitting here to where the glass is at it's it's an it's an amazing smoke now folks I'm, I'm not telling you this just because it's our christmas episode but i did bring this bottle for the christmas episode for this reason folks this smells like a brand new car in scent but if it had a christmas tree smell if you go buy a brand new, you know those trees, those tree car incense that comes in that plastic bag? If you find one that says Christmas tree, this is exactly what it would smell like if you were to open it up. You open it up and that smell right there is exactly what punches you in the face. It smells exactly like a Christmas tree. And a Christmas tree with a little bit of bonfire mixed in with it. You get that, you know, like that smoke in your clothes the next day that you know that your buddy went to a bonfire the night before, you know? That, that, that smell right there, it's exactly what it smells like. I, I like it, and to be honest, it's, I think, the perfect dram to drink or smell around a fireplace at uh, Christmas time. Hey. Yeah, so while Caesar's over here talking, uh, I went ahead and took a sip, and uh, man, it's as good as I remember it. <laughs> Caesar's right, it, it, it's got a very Christmas type of feel to it. Um, for me, I, I enjoy uh, some smoky whiskeys. I'm really starting to kind of go into that Isla range of whiskeys and uh, really starting to step up my game in terms of like wanting so to see smoky. And um, so good. It's, it's really interesting because I'm much more of a Highland guy, I'm much more of a sherry head as I've said before, but this is this is something that's really good. This is a part of Ardbeg's core range. You can go and pick this up. Uh, I've seen it so at good. our local market, Total Wine, BevMo. I've seen it in the range of about $70 roughly, maybe uh, as high as 80, it just depends on where you get it. Um, it's a fantastic bottle, guys, and especially at 54%, being a part of their core range and only at 70 wow. bucks, 
uh, that's a really good deal for sure. But back to kind of the nose, what I was saying, um, for me, I get that smoke, uh, almost a little bit of like medicinal iodine for me. You're saying medicinal. a Christmas ring. Yeah, I know it's a $5 word. Don't, <laughs> don't expect it later on. Um, however, um, for me, it's like a smoky sweet tart. It's like, a, you know, it's not an ashtray smoke, but like imagine you had a pack of sweet tarts candy and you left it in like a cigar room. And then you went to go take a few sweet tarts and you kind of just get like that, that little aroma like that. on the sweet tarts. That is what I'm getting off this uh, glass. And again, took a little bit of a sip just to kind of warm up my palate. I'm going to go back in on it. But man, it is it delicious on the palate. What oh my getting? God. Amazing. Well, first off, folks, like I said before, another way I like to judge uh, if a company makes good whiskey is when it's high in alcohol percentage. 54, that's your above average. The average is usually 40 for most whiskeys. But 54 it being above average tastes really good. There is no punch in the face with the alcohol because of all the smokiness that's in there. But the smoke is a good smoke too. Like you said before, there's bad smoke where it's like ashtray smoke and you know you kind of don't like the way that goes or don't like the aroma. But this is is a super sweet smoke, you know, like that that eight hour smoke on, on a loin that you do, you know, on the smoker with that beautiful pink, you know, like smoke ring on it. This is that nice delicate smoke that I'm pretty sure you guys out there will appreciate after a few sips for sure. I was gonna say this, you know, it's it reminds me of summertime in terms, which is ironic because it's Christmas time. Um, but it reminds me of summertime and you know sitting in my mom's backyard and getting ready to do a long smoke on a, you know a pork butt or brisket or something like that. And just after those, you know, first, you know, maybe hour or so, hour and a half, you really start to get that smoke flavor starting to penetrate the meat, but also, um, you know, you start getting it in the air, you really start smelling whatever word you're uh, putting down, whether it's cherry, hickory, you know, Texas post oak, whatever the case may be. This reminds me a lot of that. Like you said, it's not like a, a charred, you know, burnt smoke. This is like some sweet, really nice smoke. Um, on the palate, it's just very similar. Uh, you get a little bit of that vanilla. Um, I don't know what cast this is. Just looking on the back of the bottle, uh, looks like maybe X Sherry cast. So maybe there's a little bit of that sweetness that I like to pick up. Um, but yeah, this is just really good. Um, I'm kind of at a loss for words for it. Doesn't necessarily mean that's the best bottle I've ever had, but just my palate and where I'm at in my journey, it's hard to describe um, beyond that smoky sweet tarts fix that I keep getting. Because again, you get that sweet, subtle flavor, and then right as you take it down on the palate, it just puffs you back up with a little bit of smoke. Have you tried it with water? Not it, yet. It, I put some on it, it so I'm getting it ready. It definitely for it. brings out the sweet a little bit more, which I like a lot. And for those of you folks, you know, there's not everyone's a, a smoky or a peat fan for whiskey. You know, not everyone likes the smokiness. But for those of you that do, or those of you that really want to get into it, this I would definitely consider one of the sweeter, better tasting smoky whiskeys I've ever had. And once again, around this Christmas time, I think it's perfect. It's like bonfire feels warm and the smell hits you right on the dot for Christmas tree. What, what more can you ask for around this time? Yeah, I mean, the water really rounds it out. Like right. It takes a little bit of that edge off from the 54. Not that there's that much. I mean, I've, I've been drinking a lot of cast strength lately, so for me, 54 isn't too bad, but it's up there still, and it's got a little bit of a punch. But with the water, it just kind of levels it out, makes it a little bit more approachable, brings out a little bit more of that vanilla, a little bit more of that sweetness, and it kind of neuters the smoke a little bit on the initial palate and on the nose, but when you take it down, it still puffs you back up, and it's such a subtle thing. Whereas if you don't like smoky whiskey, let's say you've had something like a Bowmore, or you know even Johnny Walker Black, you put your nose in it and you're like, ah, no thanks, I'm good, that smells like an ashtray. Uh, this isn't that. This is something that you will thoroughly enjoy. Um, and especially with a little bit of water, I think that even if you are not a peat head or even dare I say a peat fan, this might be something that you'd enjoy. Would I say go out and buy a bottle of it? No, don't do that. Because if you buy a bottle of this and you regret it, you're going to come at us in the comments and we don't want that quite frankly. <laughs> but no, seriously, um, if you can try this, if you can try before you buy at a bar, Highly recommend it. Get it with some water. Put a little bit of water on it and see what you think. Um, if I had to score this for me, uh, $70, 
54%. That's a lot of booze for your buck. Um, and the flavor for me is just delicious. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to hook up four cars to the tram on this one. I think you got to try it. Uh, again, don't run out and buy a bottle if you don't like smoking your whiskey. But if you can try it at a bar, definitely get it. Judge it for yourself because, hey, that's what this is all about. This is just our opinions. There's going to be an episode at some point where we try a bottle and he's going to be all behind it. And I'm going to be like, meh, it's okay. And it will happen the other way too. But that's okay because it's literally all your opinion. So it's a four from me. Where are you sitting at, Caesar? I'm not going to lie, and I'm not just saying this because you said it, but as far as in the category of smoky whiskey, and especially for that price point at $70, I want to give it a four for sure. Four, it, I don't think it can get any better than that. Or actually, it probably could. But uh, for smoky whiskey folks, if you are into it and you do really like that smoke, I guarantee you will like this. But if you're not that into smoke and you try to get this because I say it looks could it is good then you, you probably won't like it because to be honest smoky pea it's it's an acquired taste for sure and if you're not one of them then you're just not one of them and if, that's fine there's other stuff that you will like out there but this is definitely for the smoky fans the peat fans those of you that know what i'm talking about and know you like that i i guarantee you will like this bottle for sure for sure, guys. Well, hey, uh, do us a favor, subscribe, hit that little like button, and hit the bell so you guys can know when we put out new content. And do us a favor, leave a comment on this video. Tell us what you like, what you maybe don't like, maybe some bottles you want to see us review. Have you had this bottle? What do you think of it? Do us a favor, let us know in the comments. We like interacting with you guys. We try to respond to every single comment. Right now, it's super easy because we don't have that huge of a following, but hey, that's okay. We're small, but we're mighty. We'll we're like David going against Goliath. But hey, uh, at this point, I got nothing else to add. You got anything else to add? Yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe at the SoCal Dram Tram, y'all. All aboard! Woo-woo! Catch you next time. Merry Christmas.